I really did do something sneaky, and I don't know if you'll be able to figure it out. I'm going to make a print of a photograph that I took of my wife about 10 years ago. I already got the numbers figured out, so we don't need to do any test strips or anything like that. Just dial in the time and the aperture and everything else. There it is. Nice piece of T-Max 100. 71.2 seconds. Don't mind the fancy schmancy timer. I already got the numbers, so I'm not using its features. This enlarger has the filters built in, but you can do that with the regular filters. Let's get the film. I had just bought a new portrait lens and we went out to go put it through its paces. And we were in a pedestrian overpass and I said to my wife, turn around! And I got that picture. She really liked it and that's a rare thing. So we're going to print that photo today. You don't need running water in your dark room. All it has to be is a room that's dark and have running water somewhere nearby. In fact, you can set up a dark room in so many different places. You gotta give it a try. If you wanna do it, give it a shot. Make sure that grain's focused. Meow. Now this photo is going to take more than 70 seconds to expose. I'm not going to make you sit through that. This is where the magic happens. This part never gets old. These steps get tedious, so we'll skip through them. Just so you know, there was no funny business at all during this video. It was all straight up darkroom work. The sneaky stuff happened a couple weeks ago. And there she is. I really did do something pretty serious, and when I let the cat out of the bag, you're either going to laugh at me and say, why would you do a dumb thing like that? Or you're going to say, what a cool idea. Either way, I'll see you in a week or so. Thank you for watching.